as the electrical industry evolved, we moved from DC to AC, and AC has voltages and currents that vary with time. There was a need to measure these voltages and currents as a function of time so that we could understand what was going on in motors and, and other types of equipment. The solution to that problem was the use of a cathode ray tube to actually have the picture of the waveform as a function of time on a screen. It was the only way because these things were moving so fast the meters couldn't keep up with it. Uh, mechanical movement couldn't tell you what was going on and you wouldn't be able to read it anyhow because if the little needle was moving rapidly back and forth you wouldn't be able to tell what was going on other than maybe how high it went and how low it went. So in this particular case a, an electron gun on this end of the tube, it's a vacuum tube, so down here there's a high voltage electron gun that accelerates an electron beam the length of the tube. So we now have a beam that's going straight through here. The question is how now are we going to actually measure a voltage? And to do that you put in two plates, a plate on uh, on the bottom side and on the top within the tube itself. And as the beam goes through here, if you have no voltage across here, it'll go straight through. But if you put a voltage between these two plates, you'll deflect the beam up or down. And you can actually see it going up and down on the screen itself. And then to get to see what's happening as a function of time, you need to, the beauty is, it is just a two-dimensional event. You have time on the, on the x-axis and the voltage on, on the horizontal axis. So we'll have the um, sweep generally goes from left to right. And, uh, and you can vary that by changing the sweep parameters. Uh, how fast this thing will go back and forth. And the gain uh, is connected over here by, in this particular case, a vacuum tube amplifier translates the input voltage into a voltage that can be put back onto the deflection plate, the vertical deflection plates. This is a very typical type of amplifier you need to be able to amplify both DC, the DC component of the voltage, as well as the AC component. So it's a, a complex amplifier that has to be calibrated and has to be linear so that you know when a voltage goes up by 5%, it'll move 5% on the screen.